Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and in this video, I want to show you how you can add alerts to your next JS project. And when I say alerts, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm using React Toastify for this. And to show you a quick example, I can go here to their website and click show toast. And here you can see this one alert, for example, I can change it to success, top left, click again, let's see how that looks. Here we go. Let's change it to a warning, uh, top center, show toast, there's a warning. So I think you get the idea of what I'm talking about, right? All these little alerts that you can change depending on what it is, etc. So let's go ahead and start testing it in a Next.js project. So I have here, this is a boilerplate code when you install Next.js, very simple, right? My goal is maybe re replace one of these links by a button and then when we click, we get an alert depending on what we want. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing, we need to install Toastify. So npm, let's copy this, go to the terminal here, paste it, enter. There you go, you got it, simple. And now I'm gonna run npm uh, dev, so npm run dev. That way we got our page running. There you go. Localhost 3000. I'm just gonna reload this page just to make sure. Okay. Let's change title to test just to make sure this is working fine. There you go, text, remove it. Perfect. We're ready for this, so let's go back. And here in installation, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see they give us some code for us to get started, which is awesome. So. The goal is to have this container that we can use for Toastify. So the container needs to be in top level. So if you're gonna use this on multiple pages, make sure the container is at a top level. So I'm gonna add it here after these children. Um, import it first, of course. So let me just copy paste right here very quick. Test container and some CSS because if you want you know, for them to look good, just like the website. You need some CSS, so I'm just gonna paste it right here. It's a minified version of it. And we just need to add the component right here. Cool, save that. So nothing's gonna happen yet. So I'm gonna go to the page to actually add a button and then we run a function when someone clicks that button and shows the alert. So scroll down a little bit. Let's go to the page. So let's say we're going to replace this docs link. This is going to scroll down, scroll down. All right, here it is. Here's a doc. Here it starts and finish. So I'm going to just remove all this and I'm going to add a button here. So button and let's just call it just this button for now. That's totally fine. Uh, let's save it. There you go. So here's our beautiful button. So one thing we can do, we can kind of follow if you want, like I want it to look good, right? I can just follow this added h2, maybe a paragraph and this style. So class name, let's go copy and paste this. So I'm going to do this. Let's start here by making sure this looks good. So h2. And the button needs to go inside the H2 and then a paragraph. It can have maybe some Lauren Ipsum is totally fine. Let's save it. Here we go. That's a lot better. So now we have a button and what we can do is on click. So here I'm going to do on click. And this is the function that we are going to run. So it's going to call, I mean, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it an alert. That's fine. Cool, so that function doesn't exist yet. So let's go up here. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit and before this return here, I'm just gonna create that function. So const alert is equal to a function and then here we're gonna run toast. But we have to import toast before we do that. So let's go here and import it. We're gonna, we're gonna put it right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Just remember all this is on the 
Toastify, React Toastify website. I'm gonna link that in the description of the video, okay? All right, so now we have toast, we can use it inside this function. So I'm gonna do toast. And this one, it can be uh, it's success, warning, whatever you want. So I'm gonna do success just to get started. All right, and inside here is a string, which is your message. So I'm gonna say success, thank you. All right, you can leave it as this, or you can add more options, which I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do comma, brackets, and here, for example, I'm gonna do position, and this one, uh, it can be top left. We can change it later, remove this, and I think that's good. So I'm gonna save it. Let's go down just to make sure we have our function here, alert, and the button on click, alert. But there's something here that you need to notice. Up here, I have something called use client. If, if, if it's not there, make sure you add that because we're doing things on the client, right? Buttons click, there is a little slider, pop-up, whatever you want to call it, and like alert happening, and this happening in the client side. So that way Next.js knows that. If it doesn't, then it's going to think all the components are server side, okay? Make sure you have use client up here. Cool, let's save it. Already saved. All good. Let's go here. Click this button. Here we go. Success. Thank you. And you can see when there's a timer and when you hover, it stops. So all these options you can change. You can change the timer. You can change the hover effect. You can change the icons, the colors. So all this, you can change it. Let's change the success to a warning. Uh, we can change it to warning. Top right instead now save it click and now is a warning perfect now keep in mind this is the simple thing this is just like a simple thing that you can do but i use a real use case scenario is that maybe you click something it fetch some data maybe there's a promise and when promise resolve then you get the message thank you or success or maybe there's an error you get the error message but now that you know how this works, you can get very creative with it. I think it's very simple to start using it and it's super fun. So that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.